So today I'm talking about a P0333 code, what it is and how you can go about fixing it. And so what is a P0333 code? Well, it's a knock sensor to circuit high bank two. And so what does this mean? Well, basically there's what's called knock sensors that are bolted directly to the engine. And all a knock sensor does is it just detects any kind of vibration going on inside of the engine or any kind of knocking or anything like this. So it reports this information back to the computer, which then will adjust the timing until the knocking or vibration goes away. But when you get this P0333 code, the computer's seeing a problem with this knock sensor. And so it's got to be troubleshooted to know why. But when you have a V6 or V8 engine, the engine's going to have two banks. Bank one is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. And then the opposite of that is bank two. So if you Google your engine and like cylinder location or firing order and find out which side of the engine has the number one cylinder, since there is differences between engines, then that side of the engine is going to be bank one. And the opposite of that is going to be bank two. You know, one thing to note about these knock sensor codes is that if there's any kind of problem going on inside the engine, like a misfire, the air fuel ratio's off for some reason, the timing's off, it can trigger these knock sensor codes. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0333 code? Well, the main things that's going to cause this is either that knock sensor's gone bad or there's some kind of wiring issue. And so there's some different ways to go about troubleshooting this. And the first thing to do is go locate those knock sensors on your engine, since there will be differences. And sometimes these knock sensors can be located in a very difficult to reach spot. They can be very hard to get to. Sometimes they can be easy to get to, but then other times they can be located up underneath the intake manifold or located up behind a starter and different things like this. And so for this reason, a lot of people, they'll go buy a new knock sensor and they'll relocate it somewhere else on the engine. I don't recommend doing this, but a lot of people do this. For example, right here, this knock sensor has been relocated to the front of the engine and then the wires tied into the old knock sensor. Here's another example of how that knock sensor has been relocated. Like I said, I don't recommend doing this method. But one thing to note about this is it can help you troubleshoot what's going on. It's because if that knock sensor is relocated and you tie into the wires and then you clear the code and the code doesn't come back, then very likely it was just a bad knock sensor. If the code does come back, then there's some kind of other problem going on. And the next thing to do at that point is to go check out the wiring. And so if it is inside of the wiring, the next thing to do is go get schematics for your particular vehicle. You know, check to see and be sure there's no open or short or anything else going inside the wiring because if there is, and that's going to cause problems. But the main thing that's going to cause a P0333 code, especially when there's no other codes, is going to be either a bad knock sensor or the wiring going to it. And one thing to note is that if there is some kind of engine malfunction that can trigger knock sensor codes, so for example, if the timing's off, if the timing belt or timing chain has slipped a notch, then that can cause problems. If for some reason the wrong fuel was added to the car, then that can cause problems. But usually when that happens, you'll be getting a lot of other codes. So if you are getting a lot of other codes, be sure to pay attention to that because the last thing that could cause this is some kind of engine malfunction. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0333 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.